Hey Mopar Nation, this is Luke from Steve White Motors. I'm sitting in the conference room upstairs at the dealership and I've got a couple of fuel pumps here in front of us, in front of me. Uh, we launched these about uh, three, four weeks ago and we really held back from sending them to customers because we were trying to find a connector to make this a true plug and play. Unfortunately, we had a connector that we were having a, a hard time finding and we had a solution for it, but it was not the solution that we were looking for. So. We held back a little bit, found the connector that we wanted, and made the final connections and reworked the, the, the harness a little bit. This is a true plug-in play. It's capable of sustained uh, 1,000 wheel horsepower in a Challenger or a Charger. Uh, this will fit a 2015 to 2020 Hellcat, non-demon, non-red eye. It is a dual pump system. Basically what you get in the kit is what you see right here. It's very, very simple kit. This is the pump system. You remove the, the, the module, the fuel module out of the car. You separate the top portion of it. There's a little bit of grinding on the plastic tub that you have to do in order to insert it. Once this is installed, this is a plug and play. It plugs in the bottom of the hat. The only connections that have to be made are these two blue wires that go to the fuel sending unit. And what we've done, so that you don't have to solder anything, we're using these military style, uh, military grade connectors, tap connectors. Very, very simple. They come apart. The wire gets inserted, and it's a lock when it's, when it's done. These are nearly foolproof. If you install these right, they will never come apart. Again, no soldering of any sort. Um, the main, once this is installed, the main harness, this harness right here, you have, a mod, you have the, the module that controls the fuel pumps. Of course, you have a relay system. You basically, it's very self-explanatory. So you're going to have some wiring that are going to uh, the battery for positive and ground. You can see them. There's several of them. And then you have a T-style connector that plugs in to the top of the hat and plugs into to the vehicle harness. Only two wires have to be connected in the vehicle. There's two wires, one green and one blue. And let's see if we can see the blue. We've got these wrapped up, so... Uh, where's the, oh, there's the green wire right here. The only connections that have to be made, one goes to the PWM module, the other one goes to the fuel pump relay. And again, we're using these high quality military style taps. And something to note on these when you do these is when you insert them, the way you, the way you take the insulation off these, you mm -hmm. want to have just enough insulation so that it, it all of it goes inside the tap. So basically this slides over the top of it like this. You trim probably about a quarter of an inch worth of insulation. This gets pushed in and locked and then this gets screwed in behind it. Once it's done, it will never come apart. The other end, so that you don't have to cut the wiring in the vehicle, has this type of a tap. So let me show you, it comes apart. The wire gets pushed through and same scenario. Again, military style taps, no soldering, very, very quick, very, very easy. It takes about 30 minutes to install. So what you really get in the kit, to kind of break it down, you get the fuel pump system, it's all been pre-wired, one bracket, a couple of fuel trims that we have to add, a clamp, two of the red connectors, two of these black connectors, and the main harness. Again, about 30 minutes to install, this was capable of sustaining at least a thousand wheel horsepower, whether we're using E85 or race gas, gasoline, uh, depending on the setup of the car. Uh, to give you an idea on the price point, this is about a $1,300 kit. It can be installed by, especially somebody that has a little bit of knowledge, you can install this in about 35 minutes, give or take. Uh, for the average guy that doesn't have a lot of experience, probably a little bit longer, maybe an hour. To give you an idea, and I won't name the company, but the fuel system that's in Big Red, for example, uh, that fuel system was $2,400 plus installation. By the time it was installed, we're talking $3,200, $3,300. Big Red's making $1,096 at the wheels. Very, very simple. The biggest thing with this is that it uses the factory hat, so there's no slushing. So, for example, one of the problems that I'm having with Big Red right now until we retrofit to this system the problem we're having is that when I corner the car, because I road race, so drag racing is a little different than road racing, when I do a hard left corner, 
the water, the fuel slushes away from the fuel pump because they don't have a hat. Nothing is being contained. So therefore, it runs out of fuel. And it has been a struggle with my car in order to make it, to make it run right on the, on the road course. Because this is using the factory hat, that problem is eliminated. There is no slushing on the fuel tank because the hat holds the fuel that you need when you're cornering. Not everybody's going to need that, but it's a big, big plus. Again, fairly inexpensive compared to some of the other systems that are on the market. It is a true plug and play. And as you can see, this plug is on the bottom of the, again, this plugs on the bottom of the, the hat. You've got the connector on the other end, the T connector. You've got a battery, you've got several battery positive and negative to connect. You have two wires to connect in this harness and you have two wires to connect for the fuel sending units. That's it. The thing's in the car. Great, great system. Right now we have about uh, 11 or 12 vehicles are running around with these with this system in the vehicle and very quickly here we're about to retrofit Big Red with this system. Uh, mainly because I can't I can't corner with the car so it's, for me it's a real big problem. Uh, we'll post some links after the, the video and we'll also give you uh, the basic wiring diagram on how this goes in the vehicle. Very, very simple. Somebody that has some good knowledge of this can install this in about 30 to 40 minutes. Somebody with less knowledge, probably an hour, maybe a little bit longer. Again, this is Luke from Steve White Motors. Thank you.